Hello, Nuggets. Second blog in a day, because I just remembered something that I want to talk about. Okay, so, excuse me while I crack this. <sighs> okay, so, I've mentioned before that I'm on um, fentamine, right? To try and help curb my appetite and lose weight. Now, I told my doctor that I didn't think my appetite is a problem. I don't think I eat that much. Um, I just eat the wrong things at the wrong time. Um, but he said, well, we can, he offered a lot of options. He's a fantastic doctor. But he said there's a lot of options, and the one we ended up on was fentamine. And I said, though, I just don't think that my ap appetite suppression is my issue. That's, that's not the problem here. Um, and so we tried it anyway. I've been on fentamine. Four milligrams I was on. Didn't do much. I wrote to him. He said, let's try eight milligrams. I've been on eight milligrams. Didn't feel like it was doing much. I mean, I guess it's suppressing my appetite, but not, I did the first day, but then it's tailed off to the point now where I barely notice it. Uh, and I just weighed myself. Um, and I am exactly the same weight. And I realized what's going on. <laughs> What's going on is that I am just, I've released all responsibility from my weight loss. <laughs> I've like, I've just said like, well, I'm on fentanyl now. So that's doing the job. I don't have to do anything, you know, um, which of course is bollocks, right? Which is a load of nonsense, but it just shows how deep food addiction goes. And I'm sure any addiction goes is that I've managed to find a way that my doctor has reached out and said, I can give you something that will help curb your appetite, whether that is the issue or not. I can, I can give you something that will help curb your appetite, appetite and make your job 50% easier. And I'm failing in my 50%. My 50% is, well, go on a diet and you won't get hunger pangs and you know, you'll still have cravings and all that, but you won't, you won't desperately need food like you were before. And yet I can't even do in that. I can't even do that. I'm I started taking the fentamine and something in my mind said, uh, well, you need what you want now because you won't want it. So when you do want it, it must be valid. Eat what you want, you know? So I'm eating shit again. <laughs> you know? um, I'm doing things like making sausage rolls, sausage meat in puff pastry, not pigs in blanket. Um, and, you know, I'm munching on them last night and thinking, what the hell am I doing? This is ridiculous. This is not... That's not what the fentamine is there for, you know. So I've stayed the same way. I'm actually a little bit heavier. But I think my scales are wrong. And I weighed myself with all my clothes on. Isn't this ridiculous? I'm even down to that, Mike. The point is I need to lose weight and it's not happening. That's what's wrong. So, and then I start this video by cracking open a Diet Coke, right? It's diet. Knowing that the body doesn't really necessarily see it. I, I'm not a nutritionist. But I'm pretty sure that the body says, well, this is sugar. So whatever I do for sugar, I'm going to do. Storing fat, not burning, whatever the hell it is that it does, I'm pretty sure that it still does that. So I have to address my caffeine, my Diet Coke addiction specifically. It's more of a Diet Coke addiction than caffeine, to be honest. I am addicted to caffeine, but it's more about this drink. If I get my caffeine through something else, I still want that drink, right? So... Whereas I can drink caffeine-free Diet Coke and I'm okay, so maybe I could, anyway. So I've got to address the actual diet. That's the problem. I've got to do it. I've got to cut down on my soda or I've got to cut out my soda completely. Uh, drink more water. Uh, the exercise is going well. I'm walking as much as I can, getting a lot of exercise out. Uh, not a lot. A lot for me. I'm, I'm not as sedentary as I was. Um, but I need to work on the food. I need to not be eating shit and mo most importantly I need to not be eating shit at midnight which is what happens I get you know I get to midnight and if I'm having a bad night and I know I'm not going to sleep that night I'm hungry and I'm going to the fridge and I'm 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 eating a sausage roll or uh, you know I'm having a piece of toast or I'm having a wrap because something in my head like you know what if I have a tortilla with ham and mayonnaise and butter and I roll it up and I have this big burrito Turkey burrito. Hey, that's healthy. Things insane. So anyway, I want to check in so I've got it on here. I'm not losing weight. I'm expecting the fentamine to do all the work and the fentamine won't do any work. The fentamine will help me once I start the process. So if you're on it, don't rely on it. That's not, there. that's not what it's there for. You have to go on a diet. Adam, you have to go on a diet. 
Ah, uh, all right. Well, hopefully I can start tonight. And, you know, I just got to not eat after seven o'clock and not before eight o'clock. That's all I got to do. If I just, if I can nail that down, if I can curb my hunger at night, I think that's the first step towards everything else, you know. Anyway. All right, that's where I, I wanted to post it so that I can shame myself in front of the camera. And then if I watch this back and go, oh my God. See, it's my fault. It's all my fault. Oh, God. Damn it. All right, you little nuggets. Take your fentamine like good children and then go on a diet. Cheerio.